All right, so this is a part number two, and you can see the part number one. Uh, you can see 19 8, 2024. I told you that within a day maximum two, I'm going to receive the second letter. Today I had to sign for the second letter, and the second one, just as I told you in the part number one, that's a video right below. You want to go see video right below. This one is from, what, what is it, internal ministry, ministry interior? Yeah, something like that. So the first one was from the police department. That's the one right here. Yep. And the second one I had to sign for today. Right outside of the home. Minister Susanna Trani is a deve. Ministry of Interior. So, I was wrong. It did not come the second day, or even the same day as I claimed. I'm surprised. It did not even happen the next day. What is it? After tomorrow, whatever. But in fact, it came on a Thursday. And on the 19th, when the first letter arrived, it was Monday, it says right there. So Monday and Thursday. But exactly as I told you in part number one, is going to happen. So there is some kind of knowledge about what exactly the procedure is going to look like. So I would like to use this part number two already as additional proof, as a physical proof, as an evidence of MK Ultra, because that's exactly as I stated in video part number one, is there in MK Ultra. is what the officer whom I have met in respect to right turn violation have met me at the police station at the Novo Mesto police station. What's his name? It's Mr. Chernila. I have a, such a problem with that name. Uh, Mr. Chernila. That's right. And so, part number two. Oh, it's all sealed like this, like this, like this. It's all sealed. It's all sealed. It's totally, totally, totally sealed. I have not opened one yet. I should have. Uh, the letter arrived this morning. Still, I did not bother to open one, so we're going to open one now. See the date? 22nd, 8, 2024. Exactly what I told you in part number one, that's going to take place. And what I also mentioned to you, as soon as this lady comes, this is what she stated to me, from vacation, it's when the procedure is going to start, and this was published on August the 19th, 2024. Her name is Tanya Fayon. This is a Milan Kuchan, basically, or Borat Pahar, you know. Here is posing at the exact location where she had me. Where is this? They're in MK Archer, he had me visit this location. This is how they misinterpreted some sort of friendship, whatever, that had nothing to do with reality. I have no idea what this is. What is this? Cabo Verde. It was not her first day at Cabo Verde.
Africa. This is Africa. In Africa, Cabo Verde. Uh, I just want to see where is this. Hey, they had me all over the globe. And uh, use in this case is how they got to many locations they could only dream about. Many totally inaccessible. Hey, look at that. This is not difficult to get there. This is just uh, Sahara right there in Mauritania. Senegal and uh, simply a fun but really also violent place. I remember this place very well. Violence. A different kind of violence though. This is a uh, Portuguese. Portugal. Uh, that's why I said different kind of violence because the official Republic of Cabo Verde is a significant country of West Africa consists of volcanic islands and uh, about 4,000 square miles this is of Dakar oh this I already did talk to you about Dakar and this and that so I don't know man I thought that this is uh, some kind of Portuguese island or something they speak Portuguese, I guess, that's all it is. Official language Portuguese. Wow. That's a little country everybody needs with his own laws. That's what I say. Okay, so this is not really Portugal. This is just a Portuguese language they're using and Milan Kuchan, Pahor, people from Putin, in other words, they use this at their full advantage. Cabo Verde, Milan, Milan Kuchan. Okay, how about uh, Putin? Uh, in O Mysterio de Putin and Cabo Verde. <laughs> you see, I wasn't far from true. Uh, stinks, stinks, stinks. I'm glad it didn't have nothing to do with the Portugal. I'm glad that they were just using areas that was Portuguese spoken to embed itself in something that would portray Portugal in a bad light. I, I'm glad. I don't like to hear, recall anything bad about this European Union countries. But if I have to, I will. So, there you go. I can also tell you about the Putin at Cabo Verde. Uh, this goes, this got a lot to do with the Slovenian people. This stuff, Robert Golov again. Oh, yeah. Anyhow, I shouldn't be doing this. This isn't what I should be doing right now. But, uh, these politicians, uh, Slovenian politicians, uh, they act like a espionage like a total esp spies for the Putin for the Russia basically totally well you this Slovenian people you have something you wouldn't want to let them anywhere near basically that, that just doesn't work that's crazy that's a uh, cleaning guard number two like I told you just like a flag you see we have oh this is sweet this is this is okay. This one is already open and this is here. Let's open up this baby here. And the way this opens is through... I had a little earlier. Uh, 
Yeah, I would really, I, I really could use someone, someone's help in opening this creature. I'm gonna try like this. I thought that. I thought that that would be the way to do it, but to tell you the truth, there's no. This is this is actually. You know who was talking to me about this stuff, Robert Goro. This how to open this stuff. I'm glad I'm taking time and going over this stuff. So uh, he said to me, it, it, it looks a little weird. They did go through all the letters. The letters they have used me once I filed a complaint against Nalo Mesto Police Station. On July 19, 2024, that was the first complaint I filed. The letter arrived and the letter was totally... Since 2008, with a little changes, with a little... Uh, my English is so poor. Uh, I'm so looking forward to end this and uh, move on with my life and improve everything. Um, so, uh, amendments, I, they made little amendments to uh, the original letter. And the one who got deeply implicated in the letter was what is now known as King Charles, Prince Charles, who was certain that I am a schizophrenic, that I'm a paranoid, and by misinterpreting the letter, that he would have capacity during MK Ultra to alter my perception to degree that I would create myself uh, a cancellation of the official procedure, police proceeding, which I would start sometimes in the future. He was certain he inserted certain issues in it, such as monitoring and so on, that he would paranoid me enough so that I would go to the police station and, I don't know, yell at them and uh, protests and so on and so forth. Well, it doesn't work like this because it, it just works step by step. Uh, and you know, these are just like a points and once you collect enough points uh, then you just move to the next level and these points add up in a procedure from the various aspects. It depends how you consider them, but it's enough that they delay like they did in my case. This shouldn't be delivered to me now. I feel that this letter should have been delivered to me within no less than two weeks. And it was not. And instead, police have taken further steps to... Oh yeah, I could... Technically, I could even misinterpret that and state that the right turn violation uh, was actually uh, retaliation for my filing uh, police procedure against officers at a police station, against entire police station, director of the police, and so on. That's how it works. This is real and it's coming. So, let's open this up. I'm doing the same like Robert Bilov, so I know that I'm not doing bad. He's a prime minister. When he did this stuff in front of me, it looked just like this. It would not open. He was like, oops. And then he continued, so I guess I'm just gonna have to get down and dirty and uh, have this letter open somewhere, which is... I'm about to do this uh, right here, like this. 
if it's gonna open, if it's not gonna open. Yeah, it's not gonna open. And it will open. It would and it would not. So I'm not gonna do a major damage here. It doesn't work. I'm just trying to be polite. Oh, Tanya, if I won't stay it once I get from vacation. Once I get from vacation. But what uh, is also something I mentioned to you in the videos. However, I procrastinated this for 2023. Police just delayed and delayed and made things more and more impossible. They tried their best. A big letter, uh, a big, big envelope and uh, finally got to the letter which is not so big so all right uh the only thing i am gonna i am yeah but i was i was like correct absolutely correct the only thing i'm gonna cover is the telephone number and that kind of stuff that's what i don't like about this stuff but there you go this is my case number and everything and I was 100% correct look at the look at the bloody date it says here 20 August the 20 2024 August the 20 2024 that's basically the next day the next day you see what I'm saying I don't know what it took them actually I don't know what it took them so long to get this letter here you see this here 19 8 2024 like a Swiss watch I was exactly correct I knew the MK ultra scenario to the last millimeter I told you watch part number one the video below and you're gonna see all right so what they say here basically is this here oh they say this here this is what they say They say this. So if I go over, they say like this. Now, a sector for complaints against police. Accepted your complaint, uh, which you submitted. <laughs> That's getting more and more interesting. Uh, really interesting. And it doesn't pertain to this. Or maybe it does. I don't know. I really do not know. Because now, this is a second complaint. This is a complaint I have submitted on August the 12th, 2024. And that was about the right turn violation. Uh, after thorough examination... It was established, there was a, a bill that was issued to you, a pay order, a, a bill, yes it was, for 127 euros and 50 cents or something like that. Uh, upon Um, this this is this stuff here is sick. Uh, it's been established upon your ochitic ochitic yeah uh, ochitic yeah. Uh, this is like sicker than sick stuff. Ochitan yeah ochitic yeah is nothing. This is just like you would go and you would you would just you would just say somebody uh, something. You know, you just say somebody to something. I didn't go to the police station to just say something. I came with a police station with the facts. <laughs> How can you establish 
uh, that what I stated are not facts without even having any kind of examination, any kind of meeting with me, I do not know, but they established that these are just statements, basically, uh, and which I have submitted against the police officers and upon, uh, yeah, you could say this trial or trying, you're trying on my complaint, it was established that from its content, uh, there are no elements of complaint uh, according to, uh, I don't know, Article 138 duties and um, authorization of police. Um, the fucking stalking, you're not authorized to stalk people. That's one bloody thing that was established. Next to torture, uh, you are not allowed to stalk people. Do you understand you stalk people with a uniform vehicle, with a uniform police officers who participated in a physical torture? These people are nuts. Simply crazy. Like I said, Kaliningrad number two. Uh, in continuation, based upon whatever, ZN people... Uh, in a second, Alinea of the seventh, uh, of 146 article, whatever. Uh, the complaint would not be considered if it's, if the complaint is not going uh, against uh, according to this law so um, like I said this is a Kaliningrad I don't know what in a Kaliningrad Slovensky in Slovenia it says uh, 146 article I have no idea what it says on 146 article but in Slovenia they interpret uh, laws differently there are no laws in Slovenia. This is why I paid. I didn't pay because as police officers, police officer Mr. Chernila uh, provocated with, you know, uh, once you pay, according to MK Ultra scenario, once you pay, you admit the guilt. But this is universal thing that once you pay, you admit the guilt. Uh, but even in this case, in which she was deeply involved in it, because I met him again also, not because I would met him again, but I met him again, and he went further on to insult me with mental health abilities. Now, you're talking about the police officer who was involved in torture and specifically also, as it became clear, in this particular violation, right turn violation. And dared actually to go on and insult, de-dignify me, rate me as basically as mentally ill when I came to expand complaint involving him alone in the case during conversation with him. So this is just, it's a normal thing. Look, it's a normal thing. This is Slovenia. This is how this is done in Slovenia. So uh, the fourth, uh, the fourth, uh, what's topic? Paragraph of the 138th uh, of the 138th article, let's say, uh, defines that in a complaint procedure,
I don't even understand what these people understood this complaint under. I don't understand what this letter is about. You know, I don't understand if these people understood that I complain against the police, officers. I did not complain against the violation. So they might have misinterpreted the whole thing. This is a Robert Golo, Prime Minister Robert Golo. This here, Putin, right here. Letter from Putin, from Milan Kuchan. This is a Belgrade letter, basically. So, um, um, he's saying here that in a complaint procedure, it's not established in... Uh, <laughs> so, he is just going, basically, through the booklet, and he's speaking as certain articles, and is misinterpreting the law, basically, according to his logic, to whatever article he finds, even that this is, I can tell you, completely not connected with anything I had to do at the police station, and writes this as a form of response, basically. This is, this is why I paid. This is in Slovenia, you pay. In Slovenia, just as I came to Mr. Chernila, I explained him. In Slovenia, I paid because we don't have courts here. In Slovenia, I paid because you involved two judges from Slovenia in it. In Slovenia, I paid because you, Mr. Chernila, and you, Mr. Stefan, Stefanic, with whom I have filed the complaint procedure at the police station, you were in agreement with one another. In fact, the two of you were involved in exactly my file in the complaint and even instigating in whether I should pay the complaint and or whether I should not pay the complaint and would not allow me when I visited the police station. I wasn't the one who lost the mind. Obviously, Mr. Chernila lost mind because he started to instigate that rather than allow me to finish what I have to say on how I speak not connected and maybe if I need the health services. He really lost it. It's also why I asked him maybe if he needs the health services, if maybe he needs health assistance. This is actually, it actually doesn't make any, even any sense to read this, but I'm going to read this because it's, 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 uh, it's interesting when it makes sense and it's just when it doesn't make any sense. And I'm not attorney. Listen, I am not attorney. I'm not attorney at law, but you know, um, Uh, it's not, it's not in a 130 article of complaint proceeding. It's not established whether the person who submitted complaint have committed or have not committed violation. This I don't understand at all, um, and it's why, and it's why uh, a complainee that would be myself in this case, with his uh, or her complaint procedure, cannot uh, avoid procedure about the violation. or as prescribed sanction for the violation. In complaint procedure, according to ZNP poll, it's exactly what I stated. I could only um,
establish uh, disagreement with action or with So this is idiotic, really idiotic is. Uh, uh, obviously, I could also complain with about the police not doing his police work um, assignment. Ali opustiti od dejanja policista pri upravljanju policijskih nalog ki lahko pomeni kršitev vaših človekovih pravic ali temeljnih svoboščin. Well, already here what I say, opustitve dejanja policista, eh, opustitve dejanja policista pri upravljanju policijskih nalog, the police officer did not eh, comply with his work assignment at the time. He was actually stalking. He was in the official car, he was driving official vehicle, he was uniformed, he was during his work hours, but he was committed to stalking. Now, and that's a question of whether in this case it could be established that he was stalking, which some people could argue, well, but that's a difficult thing to establish whether he was stalking during his work or not, because the mentioned location of the violation is in his under his jurisdiction at his during his work hours this is where he works yes i did mention that, that this was always his permanent location but you cannot under any circumstances argue with me about the mk ultra procedure itself uh, for which it's clearly established that MK Ultra existed and the officer in fact was involved in torture the officer in fact was involved in harassment he did terrorize he did harass he did torture during MK Ultra procedure so how the fuck do you say that he was conducting his duties he was not conducting his duties he would be conducting his duties if he would not meet me that day. The officer would be conducting his duties if there would be another officer that would stop me that day. But it was not another officer. It was exactly the two officers who were involved in MK Ultra at the exact location where the two tortured me during MK Ultra, a portion of the torture. They had other locations also including their homes but this was one of the locations for these two officers if it would have been another officer you would never receive my complaint about the so-called violation it's just as i stated to the police officer i drove to the intersection i stopped on a red semaphore light stop means stop I made sure the vehicle approaching from behind, therefore a police vehicle approaching from behind, also would apply firm stop, right? So once I checked in the mirror, the police vehicle have firmly stopped behind me, I made sure there was no traffic coming from the left hand and have therefore proceeded making a right turn just to immediately according to the police um, emergency lights as anticipated of course would stop at the bus stop just a few meters I have made it that's all I have made it I made a right turn on a red semaphore light where there was no green arrow so how the fuck do you say that police officer was doing a job? You need to prove me how the police officer was doing his job. Police officer was not doing his stalking going under his jurisdiction. 
Is this going under his duties? Is a physical torture now that we have that this is the the job, the duty? Is a Slovenian police authorized to actually torture and stalked with a uniformed police cars? Citizens? I need to have this shit in writing now. That you have jurisdiction in Slovenia, the right to torture and to stalk citizens. And that this is under your duties. Because whoever wrote this responds to me here. And this was Gregor Majeric. With the Tanya Zeitz. The two names right below here are going to have to respond to this issue. Explain to me, since when is it that in Slovenia police officers have the right to torture using stinking, filthy MK Ultra procedures, intimidate, harass, torture, and then stalk people with the official police vehicles while uniformed? at work that goes under the domestic terrorism issues and you don't have this kind of authorization in Slovenia not to my knowledge okay so this here is a very serious violation um, there are many other violations as I stated this should not even be considered when you submit the complaint like this it's already as I explained at the beginning of the letter Usually the judge would, the only thing they would, when, when he would read this stuff, the only thing he would do is he would toss this away because it's invalid. So they're saying that in, uh, under the 138 article, it is defined whether the complainee is complaint procedure not establish whether the person who submit a complaint have committed violation or did not commit a violation. And it's why a complainee, therefore the person obviously who is complaining about cannot avoid procedure about violation or prescribed sanction for violation uh, under this procedure it can only be established a disagreement or um, a relinquishment, I don't know, opustito, uh, not completion of act of the police officer. It's kind of, you know, the police officer was not do his work basically what a police officer I could complain that the police officer would not fulfill his duties basically you know uh, which also could mean a violation of your human liberties uh, freedoms and so on like I said at the 138 article and 142nd article the both of these articles have nothing to do with this with my complaint uh, and it's something Robert Golop alone have stated me that they will instead of considering what it should be considered they are going to be going after some completely other articles and will try to misinterpret the articles uh, which have nothing to do with this into what they believe would be escalate the war of words with me which based on which I would not have any kind of uh, argument on
and have further insisted me that I have to get myself the whole law book and start to study this stuff. So, uh, as you see here, Mrs. Tanya Zaitz and Mr. Gregor Meyerich are already in a very severe violation here of my not rights and liberties. It's about something else. It's about the genocide procedure. This is not about violation of my rights and liberties. Uh, the subject of complaint procedure could not be the writings or initiatives which will be relying on prescribed methods or uh, the type of work from the police as I have done, right? What I did was I tutored the police how the police should do the job because this is what the fuck I did. Yes, this is what is written here. This, the, this is what I did. That I, I gave the initiative. I gave the... Um, what I did was I, I gave the initiative. I gave the, the methods, the way, the way the methods, the way the method was done by the police and so on. So uh, the response letter I obtained, I don't have anything else I would... Uh, I would add to this stuff because I don't want to waste time. <laughs> I don't want to waste time with this kind of stuff. Um, this is Kaliningrad number two, I told you, and this is the way it goes. Uh, and it's because it's not uh, whatever procedure. The procedure will not be considered. It will be over the throne. Uh, this is also whatever, 146 uh, article. Uh, uh, accordingly, is stated uh, your complaint procedure is in argument with 154 article uh, is finished uh, you are finished it's terminated it says Conciano terminated it's terminated victory for Slovenia big victory for Slovenia your freedom and liberties you can continue to uh, um, at the court, you can go to the court or you can go to uh, other organs, other uh, institutions or whatever uh, kind regards. Hello, and that's it. <laughs> this is the letter, Kaliningrad. I told you, this is a Kaliningrad, Slovenia. This is the way it is. Yeah, I am not going to comment this stuff because I, I did comment this fairly well. I did fairly well explain to you that Robert Golop uh, interpreted this according to his own uh, logic. Uh, this is uh, uh, why I have instead decided I'm going to pay because I paid 127 euros and uh, uh, if I would not pay 127 euros I, they, I would go to the court and court would could charge me 250 euros uh, plus for the court fees uh, and that's a whole lot of money you can imagine and so because of this because of the scum like this that you see here I have decided instead I'm going to pay uh, because of the scum like this uh, it's safer first to pay you know what they say in the United States of America they say never argue with a police officer I tell you something I could not give you better suggestion than that ever do never argue with a police officer you can make yourself even look stupid um, how am I going to say, make yourself look even stupid? Um, you know. Ask police officer questions so 
in in a very polite in a very uh, nice way or to see how he reacts what kind of reaction you're gonna get from him so that you familiarize yourself with what person do you are you dealing with this police officer for instance had a one quality I was asking many stupid questions but he remind me of Mr. Pevitz the police officer against whom I have filed the first complaint he reminded me of director of police he reminded me of several other people it was time when I claimed to the police department that this individual is not fit to become a police officer this is before he even had a chance to become a police officer they were asking me why do I think he's not fit and I told them because he's small and he's all around this guy is not athlete this guy is not somebody who would beam self-confidence and it's exactly this kind of people that are in majority problems a problem to the police in majority of the cases problem to the police because it's a little fucking ego that people like this have they possess is a literally laziness ego it's called a laziness ego because of which they suffer and crave for attention attention are problems because they try to prove themselves they get usually smart they find a way to violate laws that is if they don't get intimidated and this is the biggest problem becoming intimidated in front of the people is what is what is producing what i first stated for the police officer you have to be fit you have to be confident in the work you do and to do just that you have to average the human beings you're going to be meeting on the street in the US when you go through academy you have to do some physical tests you have to physically prove yourself in Slovenia I don't think that's the case and so was I right about it 99.9% .9 of the people at the police if you would look percentage why if you would profile the people work wise this is exactly the reason why the problems exist because of small guys unfit to serve as a police officers with a big fucking ego looking out there for attention basically for problems this is where it all starts but this didn't have anything to do with me what I like about my interaction with individual was his choice of words he used which was extremely appropriate uh, not really the response here is not America more than with the tone of voice which my audio recording did not even catch properly was his physical posture his physical contact his facial contact with me he made which was kind of angry full of resentment and it's exactly why Mr. Pevet stated that's why we're going to choose him as a police officer because he knew how to manipulate audio recorders audio recordings this is the first police department in Slovenia who started to learn just how dangerous the audio recordings are. Slovenian police vehicles have no cameras inside whatsoever and police officers are therefore free to do as pleased when they stop you. And it very, very, very much depends on your tone of voice. 
more so when you're concerned on your physical conduct in front of the police officer, but not vice versa. So the police officer can do in your face whatever he wants. He won't be liable for it as long as his tone of voice is correct. So he did go to gymnasium. He did go to gymnasium. You have to fuck a little bit more. There's police investigators from Novo Mesto Police, just like most of the police investigators from the Novo Mesto Police. They know exactly what I'm talking about. Because when we met first with this generation from Novo Mesto Police investigators, these boys all claim they were really proud. They went through gymnasium that is better than other high school programs and so on. You know, and I know also what I'm talking about. So, um, it was inappropriate, his conduct. Uh, ask stupid questions when you find yourself in a violation. Especially even if you, especially if you commit deliberately in a parenthesis violation. Because, I don't know. Maybe you don't want to be stalked or whatever. Ask questions. Find out who the person is. Ask stupid questions because there's no question this is stupid. As long as it's within the limits of law, as long as you comply with the law, as long as you're nice to the police officer, uh, no question is really stupid because all you do is you learn about who a person is you are dealing with and then you can decide what your steps what what your next steps are going to be maybe if he was different I would have taken a different turn <laughs> but I really want the guy in the jail not fired but I want him in the jail for torture for other issues I mentioned. If you had a different conduct, we could maybe work out things differently, but this is a wrong conduct. He was a semi normal individual, he would not even issue me citation. I know that if I was him, I would not issue me citation. But because he was looking for attention, because he was looking for excitement, as he stated. That he will be one officer who will have my sign on citation. Um, I have chosen then to uh, to get it done my way. He anticipated even more. He anticipated the action and stuff like this. So this is the way it goes. In Kaliningrad, you always, whenever you're dealing with a police officer, comply. I don't believe anything in people say they don't want to step out of the car and this and that and so on. I'm not going to go into it. This is everyone's individual decision. I personally love to complain with the police officers. I give them whatever they ask. Uh, but there is this general rule. Do not argue with a police officer. Do whatever you're asked. And then get your justice at the local police department or through other means that are available to public. That's all you do. Never ever argue with a with an official. Never ever do. Always comply. Do whatever they say. And then you have to have some form of proof. You never know what person is you're dealing with. Uh, on general, you know, you just don't know. You just want to do absolutely everything you can. To, uh, to satisfy all the criteria uh, you know, of kindness, basically, when it comes to uh, officials. That's, that's basically the way, that's the way it's done. So, yeah, I'm going to find a way to, um, to complain about this procedure here. Um, and I guess I'm going to go from there. So, nothing to say except that this procedure alone will be used this procedure alone will be used to smash this case down because of what I stated already in the video part one 
this is all advanced from the MK Ultra torture with these people involved in it. The way they fuck around with me, interpreted the way I'm going to see and the way they're going to do with me. Because the idea about MK Ultra is to just make one, basically slap one so long till is overloaded. This is like uh, you have a power line that becomes overloaded and I guess then the mind disconnect itself. Uh, and yeah, if you cause one serious health problems, uh, that's more likely to happen. Uh, that's all there is to it for now. Uh, in respect to the right turn procedure, we're going to see how this is going to develop. I was really, really smart to to pay for uh, this citation. Mr. Stefanich was a very, very friendly guy with me during MK Ultra. He committed serious violations here and there, uh, but he was he was the one who maintained friendly relation with me during MK Ultra, claiming he would be the one resolving this case. It was Mr. Chernila, who claimed would come from Stairska to help me out here, from Maribor region to help me out here. He's from Ptui actually, I remember him when he was at the university and everything. His mother, etc., uh, etc. Et He committed very, very serious violations once he became a police officer. Very serious. In 2014, however, he was going to become the one who would come here to make sure the police department would do everything in, in the sight of law so that it would not be something illegal against me. And I was not excited about him. Reason for which I was not excited about him coming here is because he committed a lot of crime. Didn't know how to get my uh, approval. So they continued with the right hand citation, which was to come on the picture with Mr. Stefanich. and demanded from Stefanich in front of me to do something bad to me so that he could approximate himself closer to me, which Stefanich did. Of course, the two worked together, and of course, entire police department and all departments to work together with interior ministry and so on. And so this is how they fuck around with this stuff, with what was Stefanich claiming me all along that I must not pay, that I must go to the court and so on. And what became in 2014, Chernila claiming me that I do have to pay or I will get eventually punished for it. Uh, what the fuck went on, I did not know anything about because when they do this stuff to you, they just give you certain dots, certain, you know, one of the police officers, investigators stated, this is like you switch the program and then it's up to you that you catch these dots. So I found it quite bizarre when he stated that I was not talking to him coherent, connected when I met one to expand the complaint the other day. Um, Stefanic soon after came up with idea that he only fucked me with one thing and that basically was with claiming me that I shouldn't pay, that I should just go to the court to have the ticket dismissed. He then went on to say, you have to listen Mr. Chernila and pay and so on and so forth. The thing is, I didn't listen to anyone. I listened to my sound reasoning. It became evident that uh, the police alone within the police department is insane. And it became evident 
due to other issues involved in my case, due to other cases that I had, that in Slovenia the court doesn't exist. Even the decision that court have made, the police did not recognize. Even that's the kind of stuff that happened. It happened when police plotted assassination attempt against me in 2007. That I pay for the car parts and the car parts did not come because the money was obviously stolen in coordination with the police. And once I reported the crime, the police would deliberately delay the crime, promising me that they already are resolving the crime on what they stated me that uh, they started to harass me till I went on to press charges against them because they, they refused to investigate the crime and stuff like this. They lost the case against me. Yeah, but there was the police who sent psychiatrists, psychologists right here at the home. Despite losing the case at the court in Slovenia, we don't have court, we don't have fucking law here. And what is surprising about this is European Union officials from Brussels, European Union officials from Strasbourg, European officials such as Diamanduras and all others who are involved in this, inside of this house, visited here. They say nothing, they hear nothing and they know nothing. This is what is amazing about this case. This is what makes this case amazing. Slovenia is not doing this stuff by itself. This Kaliningrad and Klava here uh, from Putin does have other actors involved in it. They would not survive. They would not go on with these bones like this. But it is from European Union people that support them, that they finance this genocide project. Now also from outside of the European Union, such as British royals, such as King Charles, King of Britain, that continues to uh, nalaga, nalagati, I don't know how you say that, apply his pressure to this apparatchiks inside of the European Union. This, this became a completely criminal state. And the one who screwed this country was none other than Prince Charles. He screwed entire Eastern Europe with his criminal conduct. Uh, entire Eastern Europe, as much as he's against the communism, it, he's exactly the one, he's the reason why those overthrown communist elites keep surfacing up throughout entire Eastern Europe. It's exactly Charles, King Charles, who fucked the whole Eastern Europe. That's exactly where disease is coming from. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. We gotta find out what we can do about this.